Alright, what's up guys? So, as you already know, my name is James, or you may better know me as the Pump. So, I'm really excited to talk to you guys about a new uh, water-based product that I've tried, because it's something that has definitely broke away from the, the, the norm of water-based products. So, I'm going to showcase to you guys today, Lay Right Super Shine. And of course, like some of the other um, pomades I've reviewed in the past, this was brought to us by uh, Mr. Pomade of Pomade.com. So, thanks to him, I'll be able to talk to you guys about this and show you guys this. Because I believe, once you guys see this and then you guys can kind of try it out, definitely what you normally expect or what you would commonly believe is um, possible for water-based products, that kind of like little norm that we have like built up will be broken. And so, let's go ahead and start off by looking at the jar itself. Alright, so this is the pomade itself. As you guys can see, this is Layrite Deluxe Pomade Super Shine. As you might remember, it comes in a jar very similar to the original Layrite, except instead of like a goatish um, yellow label, it now comes in like a red label. You still have the gold trim, directions on one side, and ingredients on the other side, plus branding on the top. Opening it up, we have the pomade itself, and the jar is a total of four ounces, so you're basically your standard size. And we'll go ahead and start like applying the pomade now. All right, so that's the jar, and we'll go ahead and start applying now. So I'm sure this has been out for a while. I'm sure you guys kind of read about it a little bit or heard of it at least. And I have to admit. It does smell like wet paint. I mean, it's different. It's definitely different. But like, and like wet, the wet paint smell isn't a good thing to be honest. However, it is also very light, just like the uh, Layrite Deluxe. And so, once it goes in the hair, do you smell it the rest of the day? No, not at all. And that's all true. You won't smell it the rest of the day, so it's not a big deal. And so, scooping it out, it looks like what some people describe as burger sauce. I mean, like the secret sauce of In-N-Out, that's what it looks like. And it, it scoops out like a nice kind of, like a nice cream, but like, yeah, like a pretty like kind of sticky cream. And you'll notice it when you start like um, spreading it in your hands before you apply your hair, you'll notice like the stick. And so we'll go ahead and start applying now. And so obviously applying it, it actually kind of reminds me of uh, the Blind Barber 90 proof. It's like really creamy in your hands and really like soft, but once it applies to the hair, it just starts gripping. And then you'll definitely feel the difference right away. And so, let's go ahead and go for my second look. So people say this thing is like a no, little to no hope. I mean, those who have different hair than me, I can't tell them how they're supposed to feel when they apply stuff. But I'll tell you right now, I mean, this thing's got like, basically like a medium to light hold for me. And definitely enough hold for me to style with. I mean, like right now in my hair, I mean, it definitely feels like I have an oil base in my hair. Like, you'll definitely notice right away, it does not feel like a water base. And I will tell you that I already have verified it, that you can definitely wash it out without a problem later on. And we'll go ahead and go for our last lick of pomade now, and we should be done.
I'm going to go ahead and start sticking my hair back now. And you'll notice right away, it's pretty easy to comb through. It definitely has some like stickiness to it. But it's not like that dry hold that you would remember or you might be reminiscent of like Slick Devil or something. Alright, so with my hair all slicked back now, we'll go ahead and start forming the part. Like I kind of showed you guys before with uh, Lockhart's um, light last um, Thursday, you guys notice my hair is also again not sliding down. Like this product definitely has hold. I mean, whoever told you it doesn't have hold either has like extremely unruly or like thick hair, or they're just like they consider like little hold just a no hold. They're not used to it. And like yes, it definitely has hold. Alright, everything's slicked back now. We'll go ahead and start forming the pump itself. Alright, I think I'm about done now. So, let's go ahead and give a final inspection of the hair. As you can see, my sides are held down pretty nice and tight. Very similar to Lockhart's light yesterday. Definitely not like a heavy type of like slick back, but it's still nice and tight. As you can see, looks good from the sides as well. And my back itself is pretty like just like nice and clean. And the pop itself is at a good like average, slightly above average height. And overall there's a great shine to everything. So laid right super shine. The shine of this product as a water base is uncomparable. Honestly, I mean, I've never seen any sort of other water-based product shine this much with the exception of Dax Super Neat. But that one's like an oil base that is water-soluble, so it's kind of in, in a totally different category. Um, the hold is definitely like a light to medium type of hold. If you have fine hair like me, it'll be enough to style. If you have thicker hair, you might want to mix it with a little bit of like Lay Right Deluxe or something. The type of hold or control it gives is very reminiscent of a uh, Tancho or uh, another like Japanese pomade kind of like Yanagiya. These are very like jelly, um, sticky, um, orally type of um, pomades. And in my hair right now, this water base feels like grease. Literally, if you told me, like if you didn't tell me and just put stuff in my hair, I wouldn't know that this was a water base right now. So overall. This is some next level stuff, like, it's good, I like it, I definitely approve of it. And the biggest thing is just that it's different from what's commonly found on the market. It's a water based with shine, it doesn't dry at all. And I'm telling you guys this, it does not dry at all, period. Because I've already had it in there for a few days and no, it does not dry at all. The formula is completely different from any other like water base out there. So. What are you getting out of this? You should come up into it as though you're styling an oil base. Don't come into it so like, oh, this is a water base. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry or harden up so I can style it even like better. No, this is completely different. And so that's my review of Late Right Super Shine. I highly, highly recommend everyone trying this because you guys kind of got to see or kind of break the mold of what you expect from a water based product. And so as before, this is Late Right Super Shine. And thank you to Mr. Palmade of Palmade.com for sponsoring this review. And so, definitely check it out. 
kind of see like what's truly possible with water-based pomades and hopefully you guys will be able to make use of it like me if not definitely a lot of other people use this in combination with um, another water base that has strong hold and so you get that shine and hold as though you're using goo grease so yeah this is late right super um, super shine and take care guys